Hello everyone, welcome to part 9 of my Cliff View project. I've been, over the past few parts, uh, developing uh, large uh, subdivisions over here. I completed the uh, main roundabout here. Uh, last time around and expanded the uh, residential here. Um, what I'm uh, thinking of doing now is uh, leaving this area alone for a while and filling in this area here. Um, let's see. So if I fill that area in, uh, I get, uh, I guess I'll, I'm not sure, I guess I'll go residential in there. So first thing I'm going to do is build a road along the bank here. not sure exactly how realistic it is to build the road on the beach, but uh, there are, after all, entire cities built in the desert, so why not? Okay. Okay, so I need also, well, I don't want to put another road coming through there, so I'll bring a road across there, I'll bring a road across here, uh, I'm going to put a dead end one through there. The reason I'm not using a grid pattern in here, in this area, is due to the shape of the shoreline and the shape of the other bounding uh, um, obstacles here. So instead, I'm using a fairly random road pattern here. This is the sort of pattern you see uh, fairly regularly in uh, modern uh, neighborhoods. The general idea is to make it difficult for traffic to shortcut through neighborhoods and generally keep the main traffic on the through roads that are designed for the heavy traffic volume. 
Um, in other words, keep the traffic in the neighborhoods down. Now it works to an extent, but it's bloody annoying uh, from the perspective of the uh, action uh, of the non uh, of the driver, but it also makes things annoying for pedestrians when there aren't any provisions made for um, getting across to getting across to the uh, getting across to the the rest of the neighborhood when you have a long bit like that where it takes forever to get around by road and that's why I've put in this pathway here which should allow uh, pedestrians to make a shortcut here. I'm going to do the same thing here for the same reason. As I've seen over in the other development, the Sims will make excellent use of pathways. So it's a really good idea to provide them with the uh, shortcuts. At least where practical. So that means I should probably put a linkage like this. Uh, so that the pedestrians can get into this area too. Uh, I think maybe a shortcut here is maybe in order to I don't expect that to help immensely but it certainly won't harm anything. Now I need to implement various uh, city services over here. And that includes education. Uh, which of course is a fairly uh, uh, interesting uh, proposition in uh, this sort of a curvy linear setup. Uh, actually over here I can probably get away with a smaller operation. Uh, I'm going to have to take these power lines out eventually, but I won't be able to until I can get the uh, power through another way. Uh, what what I'm go I need to do though, I need to put a fire station and a police station over here. Okay, and I also need to put water over here. Uh, now, first thing I need to do get my CDO going with the pipes here on the roads. Um, What's annoying is that the pipes always snap to a grid and I'm not aware of any way to turn that off. 
uh, it's not clear what that grid is or where it comes from in some cases. Uh, I'm sure there's some sort of logic to it from a programming standpoint, but uh, from a playing standpoint, it's just annoying. take out this pipe, which is annoying my CDO. Uh, now I can go on and finish the plumbing in the manner that I want it to go in. And Uh, let's see. And here, one more. Okay, that covers the area. And it keeps my uh, water treatment uh, capability going. Uh, it looks like I'm on the edge for water inputs as well, so... So it looks like a good idea to build another pumping station. I'm not ganging these all together, so I don't make too much of a dip in the water levels all in one place. Uh, anyway... Uh, let's see, right, uh, I need to do some zoning. I'm going for residential right along the uh, shoreline here, and in this area. I want to avoid having commercial any distance away from the uh, uh, solid transportation infrastructure. Now the reason for that is a commercial needs to import goods to sell, which means it needs the uh, heavy truck traffic to get the uh, goods in. And this area definitely doesn't have a, a good solid transport infrastructure, so it's not a good place to consider placing commercial uh, except maybe right around this roundabout here and right in this area now uh, I think I can get rid of this one uh, yeah I can uh, okay, so I'm going to have a massive residential neighborhood over here. I'll probably put a commercial district over on this side. Interesting that I've got a zoning s spot there. That's probably a rendering glitch. Anyway. Uh, 
I'm going to, I think, ultimately put offices right along the highway here. Um, since they're going to have less uh, objection to the uh, noise from the highway. I'm using low density zoning here because I want to minimize the traffic potential in the area. And with the high density zones, zoning, I'm going to end up with higher traffic. And this seems more like a uh, low traffic or, or, or uh, family type neighborhood. So it seems to make sense to have less um, or lower overall traffic. There is a faster way to do all of this, but uh, I chose not to do it that way. Okay, so... Now I'm going to speed things up and uh, take down the... Uh, you know, wait for uh, stuff to fill in here so I can take down those power lines. I guess I'll know better when I can if I examine things like this. Okay, this one's not needed. Or this one. Or this one. And if I do this, the other one's not needed either. Okay. That means I can fill in this zoning over here. And I've got, what do I, oh, I've got brownouts. I need a power plant. Um, okay, slow that down. I need to figure out where I'm putting the power plant. I know where I'm putting it. Uh, yeah, I do need a power plant, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to stow. It doesn't fit there. I'm going to put it right there. Now, I'll let things get going. That should fix up the uh, issues there. Ooh, I made it to Capital City. Uh, so I've managed to climb up to 30,000 people. I haven't been trying particularly hard to do that. Next is a Colossal City at 40. So now that should be fun. Um... I'm going to need a water treatment plant too. So I should build one of those while I'm thinking about it. And that should sort that out when it comes on. Oh, it slowed down. Okay, yep, that's good. Now, I'll go back over here. Okay, how's the demographics? Eh, not bad. I've got 19% unemployment, though. Uh, clearly, I need to do something about that. So, I'm going to... Well, I've got some demand. I'm going to put some offices in here. For, for the people that are going to be over here. Uh, 
Okay, so that's some offices. I'm going to see if I can fix up that uh, zoning thing here. And if I go back to a ramp. No, it does the same thing. Okay, so there's a glitch there. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Well, okay, I'll kill the zoning there. And now watch things go for a bit here. Ooh, a fire. Yeah, it will be nice when they finally do sort out this uh, performance issue on Linux, given that I'm seeing about 10 frames per second coming out of the game. And it's a consistent 10 frames per second. Uh, I'm actually seeing that on the readout for the number of frames the uh, uh, screen capture software I'm using is uh, seeing. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much as accurate as it gets. Now what do I have over here? Low land value. Why is it a low land? Okay. I think I need to go ahead, oops, and uh, install some parks. That should help the land value. Okay, I need to I'll put it there. Okay. That should do go a long way to improving the uh, land values over here. Uh, I'll put one more over there. It looks like while I'm placing parks, I could possibly use some over in this area. Maybe one over here. Maybe one over here. Maybe one over here. Maybe one over here, that'd be cool. Maybe over here. Parks are good, you see. down to nine frames per second. Okay, so far so good. Got a little bit of uh, lack of uh, workers over here. Yeah, I think this here will be a good place for something of a commercial district. So,
So I'll pick a line here. No. I picked the wrong road type. That's why it didn't do what, uh, what I wanted it to do there. Right. There's a line. Okay. So I'll clobber that. And I'll build ramps. Okay. Now the reason for ramps there as opposed to uh, or one ways is, as opposed to just bringing an intersection straight in is it make sure we don't have traffic lights on the roundabout itself which is clearly a bad thing to do if you're looking to move traffic now I'm gonna pick an arbitrary point here and start making blocks and I'm going to use my nice boring old um, block structure here again gonna go that way. See I'm trying to minimize the congestion right at the roundabout and okay so I can put a block in that way but that's as close as I can get there okay That'll do for now there. And now I just need to get water across there. Now if you're wondering why going straight across the roundabout like that doesn't bother my uh, CDO as I've been putting it, uh, it's because that's basically uh, city property there. So it's not really uh, problematic to do that uh, but it wouldn't be good to put a water main under somebody's private property uh, and that's kind of why I don't like running my uh, water mains here under the zoning uh, I'm sure there are jurisdictions that do just that but uh, my jurisdiction here is not one of them. Not uh, normally. Okay. These guys like parks too, so I'm going to put parks over here. Uh, I'm probably going to need... I'm going to put a high density zoning set up here for the commercial um, is theoretically everything can fall straight off the highway into here so that'll be good and I I don't have power and it's not going to hop there so I'm gonna need to hop the highway here somehow uh, no that's not gonna work okay so I'm gonna have to be a little cleverer I can get it across from there uh, okay that brings power in good
Oh, I should make sure there's water for all. Uh, that will sort that. Okay. Now, I have created a massive traffic jam, uh, which is unsurprising. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make a couple of modifications to the roundabout here. I'm going to drop that to two lanes. And if I bump that to two lanes, I might actually get things flowing faster. Traffic is coming. <laughs> right. Now, what kind of traffic have I got coming in there? A lot of private cars. So, I have obviously created myself a traffic jam. Uh, I think I can solve that with. Uh, metro stops over here. Let's see, that's not where I wanted to build it exactly. So build one there, and wait a minute. Maybe I do want that there exactly. One over, yeah, I think I do. Uh, so that I can uh, make a bigger road there if I ever need one, okay. Uh, so, I need to link these. And, I'm gonna go straight across for a bit here. And then I'm going to come down this way. Okay. Now I will extend I'm going to pause while I do this. I'm going to extend the line to the end here. And I need to, where is that stop? Here. Okay. And now I need to add this stop back. Right, okay. So that may be a weird looking setup for that, but uh, hopefully that gets me some uh, improvements on the traffic. Also, when I put some roads across here, it will improve. I'll clearly need a fairly big road across there. Um, okay, let's see.
Well, that appears to have improved things. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to Im improve this flow as well. Uh, okay. Uh, right. I'll uh, go to a larger uh, road there. Okay. And clearly this needs to be a bigger road. I'm going to go for a six lane road. Might as well go for tree lined along here. Uh, okay. Uh, zoning. Okay. And I think that's actually made it worse. Well, I might, whoops, road. I might be able to improve that by upgrading this down to a narrower road. And this one too. Okay. Actually, I'm going to uh, try something else here. Uh, no. I'm going to try not connecting this road. And expanding this capacity down. The idea here is to increase the storage capacity coming off the roundabout. This is clearly bottlenecking, so... I clearly need a different traffic scheme in here. Uh, is that's not shrinking the backlog at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do 
is uh, take my outbound traffic. Send it this way. Then I can make the inbound road one way. that I suppose I'll use that. If I finally upgrade this one like so, that should uh, eliminate as much of the backlog as possible. Well, I'm going to try building a roadway out this way. That may not improve anything, but it'll hardly make things worse.
Well, I wonder if I can improve that by giving the traffic a U-turn route. this off to a uh, regular two-lane road to okay okay so far so good That's inbound, that's outbound, go. Uh, I'm also going to reconnect that. Okay, let's see how that does. Well, isn't that just amazing? The reason I had a problem here is because everything comes in on this corner and then has to go over here. Uh, and that uh, overloaded the uh, roads. So, um, you know, basically I did it to myself. Uh, okay, so let's see. No, that's crime. I want traffic. So I've got heavy traffic here, which is expected. Uh, and this roundabout setup probably isn't ideal for it. Uh, I wonder if... Uh, no, road. wonder if narrowing it here helps. Uh, and I really shouldn't have zoning there. And if I don't have it there, it's probably better to... What's up with this? Really? Looks like I probably need a uh, a 
a better uh, ramp set up over here. Anyway, okay, I'm going to leave that alone for now. Well, actually, I'm going to choke it there and choke it there to Okay, so that basically forces the right lane as a turn lane, which should improve overall capacity in some of these spots. Okay. I could probably reduce truck traffic by putting a... Uh, an extra, like, or putting a uh, cargo station there, but uh, that's not uh, not in my plans, at least not for now. So I'll need to rethink this a bit. Okay, now I'm going to uh, increase my uh, residential density in this area. <sighs> and while I'm doing it, they're going to get a park. I'm sure they'll like that. And another park. Now, you get a zone, you get a zone, you get a zone. Okay. I'm representing this as the slow expansion of the uh, core area where uh, the higher density stuff will tend to live. This may, I may be able to help by reducing the density over here. Uh, and this may be excessive density, so I'm going to adjust that. I really can't handle that. The extremely high um, traffic level that the higher density stuff was bringing in there. Uh, the road network just can't handle it. It's pretty apparent. So if I put the stuff further back at lower density, it should attract uh, less uh, turning traffic on the way in. I'll bet 
I do this and my traffic problem disappears. And to get, there we go. How'd the power set up here? Ooh, it's bridging across there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, I think that's probably better overall. That certainly reduced the traffic. Okay. So I'm going to restore this stuff to two way. Good. Now this, oh, that finally got to, okay, so I'll let that tick along for a while on its own now. Meanwhile, over here, we'll get some more density upgrades. Because I feel like I need yet more traffic over here. Okay, uh, and again, I'm going to give them another park or two. Oh, one anyway. Well, two. And here we go. There we go. Now while I'm waiting for that to do something, take a look in the demographics page here. 
Um, I got 14% unemployment, so I'm definitely going to have to look into some additional employment options. Uh, I'll probably add some office space in the core here. Uh, that'll take some uh, educated people. Uh, it'll also soak up some industrial demand. Okay, so I think next time around I'm probably going to expand this commercial area and then put start working on a massive residential area over here. Uh, and that will get the workers in there. Um, low land value. Well, let's see what I can do about that. Right. Okay, yeah, so this is working better traffic-wise, so... That's going to be entertaining. So I think I'm probably going to have a main road coming through around here. And that's going to have an interchange on here. Uh, I see I have a rail line comes in here. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of these windmills at some point too and uh, replace it all with solar. Uh, but for now, uh, that looks like enough for this part, so there we go. Uh, save the aim. Okay, so uh, this is the end of part 9. I'll see everyone back for part 10. Thanks for watching.